Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will talk about the best free WordPress themes. And I want to say up front that I use Elementor as a page builder at all the free themes I use. So this has everything to do with the theme I'm using right now. But everything below from here on, all this stuff is made with the Elementor page builder. It's a free page builder. And here's a footer. And here's another footer area. So this has everything to do with the theme, just as the header and this area has everything to do with the Elementor page builder. So when I review a theme, I will talk about the header, I will talk about the footer, I will talk about the customizations, how much can you change, what are the options. I will talk about the blog page, what is possible with the blog page, can you do different layouts and all that stuff. And I will talk about additions that come with the theme. And in this video, we will take a look at the Sydney theme, also an amazing free theme. Let me take a look. What I like about this theme is that it comes with a beautiful full screen slider and it will change automatically the image and you can even change the text. You have a transparent menu if you want to. And if you scroll down, you can decide which color the menu should have. So let's customize it. Let me take a look at the header area. We have the header type. And right now it's a full screen slider. You also can place one single image, a video or have no header at all. Then it will look like that. The menu will be over here and then all the content of the Elementor page builder will start. I like the full screen slider and this is for the front page. So if I would go to the about page, you only see the menu and also there you can have a full screen slider or an image or a video. I go back and I go to the header slider. Right now it says Ferdicorp Media, Photography, Videography and Web Design, Get in Contact and if we go to the next picture, it says the same. But I also can paste a certain text at every image. So if I uncheck this and I go to the second slide, I can say ready to begin your journey. Let's do this. And then that text will appear. Also for the third image, I can say photography and it will appear over here. So that's really nice. I can also change the speed. Right now it changes every five seconds. I can also say every one second and then change it really quickly. So you can decide how many seconds you want to have between every image in the slider. You can also have a video as a slider. So if I go to header type and I would say video, you see this, it's a placeholder. So let's go to the header media and then we can have a header video. We can select the video, you can upload it. For instance, this one, and then it looks like that. So you can make your own video with some text over here if you want to, or you can remove it and you can use a YouTube link. So if I go to YouTube, I search for GoPro Hero 6. I copy the link and I paste it over here. And this is how it will look like. A video in the background, really nice. So that's what you can do with this amazing free theme. I change it back to the slider. And what else can we do? We can go to the header area, menu style. And right now we have a sticky menu. I can also make it static. It means it will stay on top. So if I scroll down, it will stay on top. So you don't see it. You can also center the menu. So the logo will be in the middle and the menu will be below. And you see it has a nice sub menu with an animation. And then it looks like that. I bring it back like that. Let's take a look at the fonts. And what I like over here is that you have a special size for every header, header one, header two, until header six. So you can change it individually. When I go to the blog post, for instance, the info theme blog post, you see right now this one has this size. And if I would change it to 30, it is bigger. So in that way you can change the header size really easily. When we go to the colors, I scroll down a bit, I can go to the header and I can select the background menu color. So I can change it like that. I bring it back to blue and we can change the colors of the site title, site description, menu items hover. So if I hover over it, it becomes blue. I can change it to black for instance like that. 
the submenu items. Right now the background is dark over here. I can change that. I can make it lighter. I can make it blue. I can do all kinds of things with it. So that's really nice. And now let's take a look at the footer area. If I go to footer, right now I have four footer widget areas. Some text about us, like us on Facebook, recent posts, and latest projects. And the great thing is that the recent posts, the latest projects, they all come with the Sydney theme. So you don't have to add special different plugins. It's all included in the Sydney theme. If I click over here, I go up again. And if I scroll down one more time, I see here proudly powered by WordPress. And if I want to change that, I select this text over here, copy, close it. I go to the back end, to appearance, editor, and then I search for footer.php over here. And then I search for this text and I can change the text over here. But what I don't like about it, when you update the theme, this will come back. So I hope in the future they will have an option to change the footer within the customization options. And that's what I don't like about it right now. If you click over here, you go up again. So let's take a look at the block area. Recent post over here, latest projects. And here we have a beautiful overview of the latest blog post. If I click on it, I go to the blog post. I see the categories, marketing, themes, WordPress themes, the title, the text, this blog post we make with the WordPress editor. Here we see all the categories again. And here we can go to the latest blog post or a newer blog post. Like that. If I click on blog and I click on customize and I click on blog options again, I can change the blog layout to full width. So no sidebar. I can change it to masonry. It's a grid style. And that's also what I like. If I make it smaller, you see there are three blog posts in a row. And you can decide to have a full width single post. So if you click on one, you don't have a sidebar, but I like the sidebar. If you don't want that, click over here and it will be gone. If we go back to the blog page, we can choose to display the whole text by checking this over here. And I don't want that because I'm using masonry grid style. You can decide how much text there should be over here. If I say 70 words, then it will be a little bit longer. Featured image, we can hide them, but I really don't like that. But that are the options you have within this theme. What else? As I said before, it comes with a portfolio over here and you can adjust the portfolio. And here you can select photography. You can select more categories or you can show them all. That's all included within the Sydney theme. It comes with a beautiful block and with a lot of options. It comes with a portfolio. It also comes with the latest post and the latest project widgets. This one you can download really easily and also one for Instagram. Uh, what I like is the slider. It's the only good free slider I know. And of course you can use Elementor to create the content of the website. Also, this is a really nice element. It comes with Sydney. You can show your latest blog post in a beautiful way and you can show your latest projects in a really beautiful way. So I highly recommend the Sydney theme. If you want to learn how to make a website using the Sydney theme, then please click over here or click on the link in the description. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this theme. What are your pros and cons? Or do you think there's another free theme that deserves a review? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff and feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.